all while supporting a local boy battling cancer. News 8's Alyssa Taglia joining us live with more on the Shorts for Sean fundraising campaign. Yes. Hello. Good evening. This is, this is such a great story. I mean, as we all know, it's summertime. The temps are very hot, and people all across Connecticut are finding the best ways to stay cool and comfortable. Old Saybrook police officers are able to beat the heat, but it's going to cost them a few bucks, but it's all for four-year-old Sean McDonnell, who lives down the street from the Old Saybrook Police Department. Unfortunately, Sean suffers from stage three rhabdomyosarcoma, which is a rare cancer found in less than 300 children yearly in the United States. Sean is currently being treated at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute in Boston, which results in a six to seven hour round trip drive for the family at least once a week. The Old Saybrook Police Department wanted to help their young neighbor, so they recently started a great fundraiser called Shorts for Sean. Where for the first time ever in the department's history, police officers will be able to wear a more relaxed yet professional uniform over the summer, which includes a polo shirt and shorts. But to do so, they must make a donation of five dollars every day. To not have to, not have to think or worry um, about such things, to, has allowed us to really place our focus on Sean and on getting Sean better. Um, and without the support from the community, we, we would not be able to do that. Now, another great thing is that the police union is also matching each officer's daily donation. And Chief Sparrow says that so far, all of the officers are participating in the fundraiser. Now, Shorts for Sean began July 1st and will run until August 31st. All the funds raised will be gifted to Sean's family by the end of the summer. Scott, back to you.